Hi, do you find yourself often performing better in practice than you do in competition? Well, this is the number one reason why athletes come to see us at Peak Performance Sports, because they know they're underperforming compared to what they're capable of in practice. Today, I'm previewing the Fearless Athlete CD and Workbook Program, which gives you all my strategies for how to take your practice game to competition. You're watching Sessions with Doc. So the most common question that we get from athletes on a regular basis, and the thing that trips athletes the most, is they don't take their practice game to competition. Well, why is that? Why don't athletes perform as well in competition? Is it from the pressure that they feel in competition? Do they fold? Do they choke? What is it? Well, I'm going to talk about one issue that trips athletes once they go to competition. Often it's about fear of failure, but in this case, I'm going to talk about the fear of making mistakes. And this is very particular to younger athletes as well, is they're afraid to make mistakes, and that really holds them back from being able to perform assertively or aggressively or be able to trust their skills in competition. The other issue is when athletes go from practice where they're in a learning environment where mistakes are okay, um, they're more relaxed. As opposed when they go to competition and they're deathly afraid of making mistakes, then they struggle with that because their whole modus operandi or their whole focus is to not make mistakes. So why is it that athletes when they go from practice to competition, they don't want to make mistakes. Well, the biggest things that I find is athletes are afraid of disappointing others. And what I mean by that is the athlete doesn't want to make a mistake, get scored on or hit a bad shot or have a bad pass because they're afraid that the teammates are going to look bad upon that athlete or the coach is going to look bad or say something bad or bench them for that mistake, or if they make another mistake or two in a row. And if they're young athletes, they tend to worry about, oh, what are my parents going to think if I make mistakes? The other issue about mistakes is perfectionist athletes, they tend to not want to make mistakes. They tend to want to have that perfect performance. So how do they do go about that? They go about that by focusing on trying not to make mistakes and avoiding mistakes. So what's the solution? If you're the type of an athlete or your athlete is out there trying to avoid mistakes, what do you need to do? Well, first you need to get them aware of what they're doing. Hey, your performance looks a little bit more tentative, a little bit more controlled in practice or in competition settings than it does in practice. And then discuss with them, well, do you think you're worried about making mistakes? Do you think you're worried about what coach is going to think? Or do you think you're afraid of disappointing your teammates, for example? Find out and dig in what is it that they're afraid of. Then, once you get to that stage and you find out why they're performing tentatively in practice, then you need to give them some skills, some things to focus on that's going to help them trust in their skills. Now, ultimately, when athletes are afraid of making mistakes, they second guess and they overanalyze what they're doing. So the key here to getting them to trust in their skills is allowing them to the freedom to make mistakes. They have to know it's okay to make mistakes, absolutely, but also getting them to react when they go on the ice or on the court or on the course or on the field. They have to learn to react and not think and not second guess their decisions because they're afraid of making mistakes. So it's really about being more decisive, being more committed, and teaching them just react to the input of your eyes. That's the direction you need to go. Hey, if you want more tips about how to take your practice game to competition, go to peaksports.com and check out the Fearless Athlete CD and Workbook Program. That's one of our top sellers and it gives you all my strategies for how to overcome fear of failure, fear of mistakes, and also trusting in your skills, which means the ability to take your practice game to competition, 
which is vitally, vitally important for an athlete. So you want to head this off right now. You want to deal with this right now and don't wait on it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this mental game tip and I've got a lot of other tips for you to improve your confidence, focus, and composure. What you want to do is subscribe to our YouTube videos if you haven't done so yet and you'll be notified when new videos like this come out. In addition, there's another video over here that we've teed up for you um, to watch in this particular series, again, on improving your mental toughness for sports. Hey, if you have a question, go to peaksports.com, click on Contact Us, and send us your mental game question. We can't guarantee it'll be in a video blog, but we'll certainly respond to everyone who emails us at peaksports.com. Thanks. We'll see you next week.